Alright, welcome folks to the channel. This will be a quick summarized essay video about my uh, first impressions on the game Guild Wars 2, which uh, I have recently played. So, Guild Wars 2. The game first came out in 2012 and is now 11 years old. And for a game that old, I'm uh, quite surprised how well populated the servers are. I expected a game like this to be uh, sparsely populated with uh, niche players, but so far, server populations are very healthy for a game this old. The game offers uh, 7 professions, Guardian, Revenant, Warrior, Engineer, Ranger, Thief, Elementalist and uh, Mesmer. I went with the uh, staple OG class, which is, in most MMORPGs, the Warrior. Uh, speaking of classes, how is the combat? Well, if you like World of Warcraft, then you will most likely enjoy uh, Guild Wars 2. They share the same style of combat, which is tap target. Combat in game is uh, also very comparable to games like uh, Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2, and Dragon Age Inquisition, all of which are tap target, with uh, Origins having that old school type School, old school type of uh, tap target while uh, Dragon Age 2 has that fast and fluid action tap target gameplay and Inquisition is uh, like, like a mix of both. All three of these games I played with uh, only the warrior class so I'm not really sure about other classes. But for me, the combat in Guild Wars 2, suffice to say, I'm enjoying it. Well, uh, I haven't yet entered a dungeon in game, so I can't really say anything for that matter. The story and lore, I have yet to learn and know, but at least cutscenes are fully voice acted, and uh, some NPC interactions are fully voiced, which is good, since uh, most MMOs waste your time by letting you read dialogue after dialogue. The game still has plenty of dialogue, but uh, at least some of them are uh, voice acted, which is, which is good, you know. Okay, graphics, one of the things that make potential players play or skip a game. And while Guild Wars 2 does appear on the surface have a very dated graphics, but I disagree. I think the graphics is fine the way it is. The game has texture and beauty. I mean, just go and explore the city of uh, Divinity's Reach. It's very detailed and expansive. I liked exploring the city. Nice and big. Yeah. Once I reached level 10, I got my first mount, and boy, riding it was strangely fun. Unlike in some MMOs where, yeah, the mounts are supposed to get you from point A to point B, but in Guild Wars 2, it gets you from point A to point B, but it's just more fun. It's just more fun riding the mounts, that's all I can say about that. Okay, alright, I have only played the game for a couple of hours, but uh, have already made a huge mistake by selling crafting materials. Which uh, I didn't know went for a lot more at the trading post or auction house. That's a bummer. UI is moderately simplified, which is a good thing for me since uh, most MMOs cover 30% of the screen with literal trash to distract you from what's happening. Questing in the game is very interesting since the game offers no quest journal or tracker. Instead, you have a pointer at the top of your right hand screen pointing you to various points of interest and even NPCs that offer quests in the area, which I think highly favors exploration and gives a player a sense of freedom rather than give them a general direction to follow. Which is uh, usually the norm around the most MMOs. There is a trackable quest which is your character's personal story. Also, regarding exploration, scout NPCs are very helpful at pointing out areas of interest and giving you the lay of the land. This area supplies a lot of the materials for Divinity's Reach and Beetleton alike. There are many threats to the workers, and any damage to them or their livelihoods could impact the entire region. We could use some help to keep things running smoothly.
I do not dabble much in a game's uh, monetization schemes. I simply purchase the game, and that's the end of that. DLCs or expansions are a welcome purchase for me, but it's mostly influenced by reviews of other players in order for me to justify whether it's a worthy purchase or not. Anyhow, Guild Wars 2 base game is free with three expansions, the first and second expansions being Path of Fire and Heart of Thorns being bundled together for $30. $30? Uh, not actually $30, but $30, $39? $39? Yeah, $39 Canadian. Yeah, that's Canadian dollars, not US. $39 Canadian. And the third expansion being End of Dragons, which is also $39 Canadian. Anyhow, folks, that is my uh, first impression of uh, Guild Wars 2. I uh, honestly like and enjoy the game, and I think I'll be spending hundreds of hours playing this game. With that said, folks, I'll see you guys in the next video that I can come up with. Ciao!